Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Jason Rivera and today I am going to do another React project and I'm going to actually break this up into a couple of videos um, just so I can uh, go into specific concepts that I want to talk about. So uh, this is basically what I'm going to build. It's I just called it book cards. It's basically a way to, a way to search for books. So if I want to search for books on dogs, click enter. I'll get a, a card um, list of books uh, related to dogs and I can also sort so if I want to sort by the newest um, published book it'll sort it by the newest one so I would have this one which is 2018 or I can do it by the oldest and it'll sort it by the oldest book first so um, it's nothing super uh, complicated but it's a good way to practice uh, React and also uh, handling data and doing some uh, sorting and manipulating it and things like that. And yeah, so uh, for this project, I'm going to be using the Google Books API. So we'll also be utilizing third party APIs. So that we'll also get some experience doing that. And yeah, so let's get into it. So for this uh, video, I'm just going to uh, let's see. Ta okay, so for for this project, I have this layout of the project. So all of these boxes uh, will refer to a component. And so we're going to have our so overall component, which is going to be app. And inside the app component, we'll have all of this. And so inside the app component, we'll have a component called header, which will just be the header area. And then we'll also have this other component called books. and with this component, this component is going is going to contain all the uh, state and logic for our, for our application, and so um, yeah, and so and inside this books component, it's going to also it's going to render out a component called search area, which will be just a search box in the uh, select uh, input field, and we'll also contain a book list component. And the booklist component will just be a component that will render out the individual book cards. And so, yeah, so that's kind of the anatomy of it. <clears throat> and so uh, today, I think I will just start off by creating the uh, header component. Uh, just keep things uh, simple and short. So let's see. So I already uh, created another uh, React application using Create React App. Uh, let's go to our code. And so right now we are in our app.js file. <clears throat> and so what we want to do is in our app.js, we are going to create our header component. And so in here, I will just do header. And... All right. So right now I created this uh, tag uh, called header in our JSX and so what I need to do now is actually need to go and create this header component or else I will get an error as you can see right now yep so header is not defined <clears throat> and so I'm going to go here and I'm going to do header oh, JS awesome and in header.js I will import react from react and for this component, I'm going to make it a functional component. So it will be header equals that. I'm going to return okay, so let's see. So what do we want this to return? So I think I'll just create a header header tag and inside this header tag I let's see if we go here so we want to have a uh, icon and also a title and so for the icon I have a I went to font awesome and grabbed this icon and so if we just add in this tag do that and And we'll do an H1 and we'll call it 
book card. I think it's called book card. Yeah, so we're going to call it book cards. And we also need to remember to export default the header component as well. So that way in our app.js file we can actually <clears throat> uh, use it. And so in here I just need to do... Oops. And I actually don't need this. So now I'm going to import our header from... Let's see... Header... Because it's in our... It's in this... The same path here. Okay. And so let's see... And uh, also, uh, if I had previously, um, to, in order to use the font awesome icons, you need to use this uh, link uh, tag. So if you go to the font awesome website, you, they'll give you, uh, they'll show you how to actually start using font awesome. So they, sh they should give you this uh, link URL, this link HTML tag, uh, which will have this uh, URL, which will be, which will. Uh, give you all the different icons for uh, Font Awesome for you to use. And so now let's see what we have. And there we go. So we got book cards. And I actually have some styles uh, already pre made. Um, I can show you those styles here as well. So, in case you guys want to style it this way as well. Let's see. Although my icon is a little bit small, let's see. We go to font awesome sizes. Want to make it bigger? Let's see. Okay, so I think we need to just add this um, to our icon. So if we just do that and we go back, okay. there we go. So now we have our uh, header here, so we have our icon with our title. Uh, let's go back to our code. All right, so, yep, so we got that done. We got our app component here, and we just created our header component. And it's pretty simple. It's just the header tag with this font awesome uh, tag icon with an H1. And uh, so what we did, we just uh, created that header component, we exported it, and we imported it into our app uh, app component, and we are using it right here. And if you want to see the styles, uh, I use this for the box sizing, and for our header, I just have some padding, the background of this, color is white, text align center, and let's see, and for the H1, I just displayed it have a display inline, margin left of 15 pixels, and a font weight of 300. And uh, yeah, so those are the styles there. If you guys want to, you know, do it like the way I have it, it's right there for you. And yeah, so that's it for that, for this video. In the next video, let's see, I think I will go into creating this uh, books component, as well as possibly also doing this search area and book list component. Uh, probably probably just having like a simple uh, layout and uh, yeah but we'll see so uh, I appreciate I appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you guys found this video useful go ahead and give it a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it and if you want to see uh, more content go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me all right uh, thanks for watching and have a good day